record that, Jim. Bet. Bet. Peter, I'm concerned about your commitment to this class. You've received low grades on all of the semester's assignments. The history of time travel is a stimulating course. I mean, it's significant to the advancements of our society. You seem to be lacking passion, real passion. And so, even though I haven't been able to reach your parents, I've devised a special assignment for you. <laughs> you have 12 hours to travel to the year of your choice, conduct live research, and then write up a research paper about the invention of time travel. I really hope that the hands-on nature of this assignment will allow you to generate some new energy and some passion about your work. Please don't let me down. Goodbye. What is the date of origin for time travel? Origin for time travel is 2050. <gasps> What can you tell me about the inventor of time travel? Dr. H. Mackenzie, 170 East in New York. I will see you soon, Dr. H. Mackenzie. This shouldn't take too long. 2050 it is. Well, I don't know what I'm looking for, but I know that I just want to look some more. And I won't be satisfied till there's nothing left that I haven't tried. For some people, it's an easy choice, but for me, there's a devil and an angel's voice. Well, I don't know what I am looking for, but I know that I just want to look some more. Door open. Door open. Hello, is Professor McKenzie here? Who are you? I'm one of his students. Oh, he's out. Well, can, can I come in and wait for him? No. Can I, can, I, can I use the depository? You mean the toilet? Please. Okay, it's down the hall. I'm Peter, by the way. I'm Clara. Nice to meet you, Clara. So, uh, what subject does your dad teach? What do you mean? I thought you were one of his students. I am. I mean, I will be. I just moved here from Kansas, and he's supposed to be my faculty advisor. Oh, you're from Kansas. Yep. Dressed like that? Um, maybe I should just go. Come back another time. Oh, okay. I'll show you the door.
you write this? Yeah. This is this is some really complicated stuff. This is impressive. Thank you. No one's ever really noticed it before. Clara, did you ever want to be a, a teacher when you're older? Maybe. I thought about it. Do, do you want to go for a walk and you can tell me about whatever it is that you want to do? No. I have too much work. Don't waste your time. It's not a nice day. Okay. Let me get my shoes. Obviously it would. What do you mean? I know it will. Really? No, I mean, you've done all the work for it, so why wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Peter, I know this is really silly, but it means a lot to me that you're sitting here listening to me. It's nice to have someone to talk to face to face. What do you mean? Doesn't everybody talk face to face? I mean, I can only imagine how social interactions will change in the future, but... <laughs> I'm sure you can. What was that? A hug? What? They don't have hugs in Kansas? <laughs> can we try that again? Oh, okay. Listen, Claire, you're going to do great things. I know you are. You got to trust me on this one, okay? So you don't think we'll see each other in the future? I don't know. Peter, if I could build my time machine, we would. Come on, I'll walk you home. No, really. Come on. Hey, Miss Douglas, Peter here. I finished the assignment and it went really well, but I was wondering if this time... I was wondering if this time we could just talk face to face instead. Oh well, in five years time we could be walking around a zoo With the sun shining down over me and you And there'll be love in the bodies of the elephants too And I'll put my hands over your eyes but you'll peek through And there'll be sun, sun, sun All over our bodies and sun, sun, sun All down our necks and there'll be sun, sun, sun